What is going on? It's JB coming to you live from Koh Phangan, Thailand. The time here is around 5:30 p.m. I've spent the day at home doing some work. Evening time. Time to head out, get some food, socialize a little bit, explore the island. Got my scooter here. Let me take you down to the city center of Koh Phangan, where all the action happens in terms of food, shops, all that stuff. Got my special bag for my camera, so you can see me riding around. It's going to be nice. Let's go. Okay, we are off. So let me kick us off with a quick story. My first day on Koh Phangan, on the scooter, this very corner, I fell over, busted both my knees, and I was down for like a week or so. Until today, I've got these two permanent tattoos, Koh Phangan tattoos, on my legs. Gotta be careful with scooters here, man. All right, let's go. So here's a long drive away down where we're staying. Bunch of houses, villas, some small, some big, some with private pools, and down here we have a common area. Got a large pool. We just went past. Got a laundry, bike rental, and then here to the left we have JB Hut Restaurant. It's not the best restaurant, <laughs> I'll tell you, but it does the job. Okay, so here we are on the main road in Hard Yao, leaving the area. Hard Yao, beautiful area, perfect for nomads, digital nomads. A lot of nice cafes in this area, beaches, young peeps, even some families. It's not the area for partying. For partying, there's another area which I'll talk about. Sunset happening. So here on Koh Phangan, you'll find bike rentals everywhere. Bike rentals, uh, smoothie shops, gas stations. And when I say gas stations, I don't mean gas stations. Gas stations, the one gas stations you're picturing right now. Different kind of gas stations. I'll show you. So we're passing here, this beach area called the Secret Beach. Just went past it, very popular. And this corner here, oh my God, beautiful views. My camera didn't quite catch it, but beautiful views here. Shimmering blue water, blue skies. Usually people actually park up in that corner and take photos. When I first arrived in Koh Phangan, I didn't know what to expect actually. And after staying here for like two, three days, oh my God, I really got used to it. People are so chill. Weather was pretty good as well. The food was nice. The food was fresh. Lots of fruit. Things that cost like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Western world over here three dollars the lifestyle here was amazing the 
summer vibes. Now this area, a lot of massage, massage shops, massage parlors. I uh, come here to get some foot massage, full body massage. There's a grocery store, 7-Eleven, some restaurants. Coming up here, to the right, is the entrance to Zen Beach. I hang out here a lot. 5.30, 6pm, beautiful sunset, Zen Beach. If you're in the area, visit this place, Zen Beach. You'll like it. Every Friday, they do some sort of ritual, like a fire dance, and drums and stuff. It's pretty cool. We just went past a, uh, a big market, a big uh, market where fruits, vegetables, hot food, smoothies, all that stuff is sold. Here's story number two. This very corner, on my day three, I saw a young lad coming towards me fast and literally crashing his bike. Just missing a wall. I parked up right away, got up, made, made sure the bro was okay. He was kind of in shock. Scooters here on this island, you gotta be careful with. If you're not making mistakes, there are chances that someone else is making mistakes, so you just have to be careful. All your five senses need to be alive, need to be open. Hazards everywhere. You never know when a dog is going to pull up or when someone's going to stop like this and start having a conversation randomly. So you have to be been here, I have not seen cops. People are just naturally respectful. People are naturally just using their common sense, you know what I mean? Which was nice. Very little policing was required here on this island. One of the reasons I came to Thailand, one of the only reasons I should say, is because this was actually in the middle or on the way to Europe and usually 
and catch a flight from Australia, New Zealand straight to Europe, which is around 25, 30 hour flight. And now I'm starting to actually stop over in one of these South, Southeast Asian countries, spend a day, spend a, uh, spend a day or two, maybe even a week, and then carry on to Europe. So it's not like a daunting 30 hour journey. You get to see some more countries, you get to chill out, and you're not tired with a 30 hour flight. Anyways, let's continue to enjoy this beautiful scenery of Koh Phangan, Thailand. This area, I noticed, had a lot of coconut, har coconut harvesting going on. Often you'll see like a pile of coconuts. Side of the road. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? So over here, you get uh, you can get this attachment attaches to your scooter, and you can use that as a uh, trolley or to carry people or things, which is very very common here. In terms of traffic, mostly scooters. Utes, 4x4, oh I love this stretch of road, beautiful, Okay, our first red light. We're approaching the city soon. Let's go. Stray dogs, yes. There are a lot of stray dogs here. But they're peaceful, they're chill. Not a lot actually. But they are. See that? Almost pulled out. So what do you think so far? Of Kopanyang. What do you think of this drive?
What did you like? What was new? What was unexpected? What had you not seen before? Let me know in the comments. Take a look at this, to the right, there's some coconut harvesting going on here. And also, there's a lot of land being sold on this island, and I wouldn't be surprised if I actually end up buying, buying a piece of land or some property on this island. I, I do think having a piece of land here in Thailand and Koh Phangan is going to be really valuable. It's a beautiful island. Slice of paradise. little strap is doing okay with filming. I was trying to find a solution where I could actually strap onto my chest and actually show you this drive. It's working out okay I think. But I am going to purchase a proper mount because right now my camera is actually not safe. Okay so we are now approaching Thong Sala which is the city center of Koh Phangan. Busy place. Lots and lots of restaurants. Lots of shops. Lots of tourists. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Massage parlors. fruits and vegetables the biggest market on the island is here we'll park up soon and hopefully we'll take a look city center at the food market I'm about to go out and get some get some food get a drink walk around a little bit but it seems like my battery is out almost out and I may need to stop this video if that's the case I might have to give you a tour around the uh, food market next time but for now stay tuned mm -hmm. 